What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mo. So happy to be here with you guys as always. And as you can see, we are on our Town Hall 9 base, guys. So this is going to be another episode of Max That. We have a lot of work to do on this Town Hall 9. It's probably going to take us a couple months to get to Max. So I hope that you guys are ready. Um, as many of you know, and as you can see from the screen, it is the holiday season. And that means a new update. So what we have right now in the update... Um, as I look down, well, I'll, I'll hold this up so we can uh, look at each other a little bit more. But right here, you can see the Santa Strike. I don't know if any of you have seen it in action, but it's pretty cool. Um, Santa actually flies over and drops a bunch of presents that explode. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen it yet because nobody has attacked the base. Um, but today, what I think I'm going to do is show you guys a, um, a quick replay, hopefully, of the base um, and how it's working for me so far and uh, just kind of talk a little more about the update. Um, a couple more things that you will notice if you go into Train Your Troops and you look right here at the P.E.K.K.A. There is a new um, design for that. It looks pretty sweet. Um, other things, the uh, Inferno Towers, as many of you may know already if you've read it, can now focus on multiple troops, um, but the damage doesn't stack. So you can choose if you want to have pretty much a splash damage or a focus damage, um, which is what the Inferno Towers are currently. So it'll be interesting to see how that affects um, the gameplay. Other things, probably one of the biggest things that is happening is the changes to the loot system, um, which I am super excited about. Uh, basically what it's doing is um, for Town Hall level 6 and up, they're changing the loot system around a little bit to where um, you can protect your resources better, um, but if someone is a good attacker, they'll get more of they'll get more of them. So it's weird. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but um, I I actually watched Chief Pat's interview with um, one of the developers, and he was talking about how uh, the higher level players, as many of you know, like now I am a high level player at Town Hall Nine. Um, things are expensive and it sucks and so they wanted to make it a little bit easier for all the high people to be able to pay for their million dollar walls you know so that's gonna be awesome I'm definitely excited to see how that works out I know I'm just kind of scrolling around the screen right now but whatever um, what we have going on uh, right now is we have a Tesla upgrading to level 3 right now um, so that is good we have our wizard tie right here going up to level 4 um, I'm going to get that up to level 6 before I upgrade the other ones. Um, we have this Archer Tower is at level 6, so that one's moving up pretty good. We actually have two army camps right here at level 7 now, so I'm definitely excited about that. That's 10 more troop spots for me, um, and yeah, that is awesome. I'm so, so happy to have more troops. I am definitely loving that. Um, we are upgrading our air defense right here up to... Little level three. Air defenses take so long to upgrade. It's annoying. It's going to suck to get that up. But you know what? It's okay. I'm happy that I did most of this before I upgraded uh, to level nine. <laughs> I just talked real slow. Um, I'm happy that I upgraded everything to max when it comes to defenses because otherwise I would be hating myself. So um, I am definitely, definitely excited about that as well. Um, let's go ahead and request some high-level troops, please. Let's. Uh, looks like both of our expos are full. Uh oh. Um, and why don't we go ahead in here into our defense? Um, as you can see, a lot of people. It's just people picking off my base. Um, why don't we watch? Ah, oh, can't we can't watch that one. Can, oh, we can't watch this one either. This person right here got two stars. And as you can see, they had a level 10 archer tower, and all of their troops and spells were maxed out. Um, I went to the guy's base. We can go visit his base. Visit. So he got 84% on me, a brand new Town Hall 9. And this is his base. So obviously he knows what he's doing, as you can see from the ridiculousness that is his base. Like, it's pretty much max. All of his mortars are maxed, everything. And he didn't even three-star me. I wish I could show you all the replay, but he didn't even three-star me. Um, and that in itself is proof to me that this base 
um, is doing pretty well. A lot of you guys have said, hey, the mortars are really exposed, but really they're not. Like if you, if you look at this, this mortar is being protected by this wizard tower, this Tesla, this archer tower, and this cannon, and this archer tower even. So the mortars are being protected by a whole bunch of defenses. Um, I did, however, move in my dark elixir and switch it out with this elixir storage right here. Some of you guys mentioned to do that, and so I was like, okay, whatever, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but we can't, I'm, I'm sad that I can't show you any of my defenses. Um, I don't really have too many big attacks right now, but I do have a full army camp, so why don't we go ahead and get on the attack, guys, and I will be back with y'all. I'm breaking my shield. I know. I gotta make a video. Um, I'll be back with you guys in a few seconds. Do I want to attack this base? No. I want more gold than that. I'm gonna be greedy. I'll be back with you guys in a few seconds. All right, see ya. All right, guys, we are actually going to go after this base. Um, it has a really good amount of Dark Elixir right there in the center, so I'm definitely going to try and get in there to that. Um, not a good, or a good amount of regular Elixir, good amount of gold. Um, and yeah, that is why I am planning on attacking this one. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and drop off a couple of troops out here, try and uh, get out the Barbarian King um, so that we can take care of business out here. So we're going to try and take him out real quick. Um, and then next, I am going to start spreading out around here. Um, I'm going to drop my king as well. And then we're just going to break in here and try and get up into the center. Now, he does. are you kidding me? I lost all of my wall breakers because of a lucky mortar. That's ridiculous. All right, we're going to rage spell these guys. Let's get our archer queen in there too. I guess we're going to have to use our goblins as wall breakers now um, just to get everything in the middle right here. Um, I forgot that I had a lightning spell. I don't know why I didn't just use that on um, on those clan castle troops, but you know what? I didn't, so that sucks, but whatever. Um, all right, so we are getting up there into the middle right now. Our P.E.K.K.A.s are in the center, which is perfect. That's exactly where we want them. Um, and I do have this lightning spell. I don't know if I will need to use it on anything, but as you can see, my Pekkas are doing work right there in the center right now. Thankfully, there are no Teslas around there. We just got all of that Dark Elixir, um, which is the main reason that I decided to attack this base in the first place. Um, so that is great. I really wish that, that <laughs> those wall breakers didn't mess up like they did. Um, but as you can see, we are still doing pretty good. Our Archer Queen is right there in the middle. We do have our Barbarians working their way around um, as well. Uh, I really, really want to take out this um, this archer tower because I want some barbarians to be able to go out around the outside. Um, yeah, there they go. So now they can get all that elixir for me. We did get a lot of the gold already, so we are doing good. Our P.E.K.K.A is doing good. Our archer queen is doing good as well. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's like two videos in the last week that I've accidentally dropped a freaking spell. Um, so there goes the Archer Queen. She is down. Um, the Barbarians are slowly fading away on the outside. But guys, look at that. There's only 17,000 gold left. There's a lot of Elixir left. Um, and most of it's in these pumps on the outside. So I actually should have attacked those, but I didn't. What is going... Oh. Really, guys? That's what y'all are going to do? Where do you go ahead and end the battle? <laughs> Um, but 131,000 gold, 113,000 elixir, and 1,054 dark elixir, which is the main reason that I attacked that base. That is the goal of that attack, was that dark elixir. So i um, definitely happy with that. I need to upgrade my archer queen badly. So I'm definitely going to be saving up. Um, as of right now, guys, though, we are... Um, we're trying to save up Elixir because we need to get our archers up to max level, but it's 7,500,000 Elixir, which is crazy. So that is why right down here, I am slowly building this up. Um, right now it can only hold 25,000. So I got to get that thing up. Um, but I have a while to do so since I do have, um, a lot of Elixir to gain still. I'm going to go ahead and train up my army camp. Um, I've been doing, I've been using a lot more P.E.K.K.A.s recently and um, using about seven wall breakers and then uh, generally have 45 
uh, archers, and then about 30 or so goblins, and then the rest um, I will spread out with barbarians, and um, it's been working okay for me. You know, I'm, I'm trying not to spend too much elixir, that's why I'm, that's why I'm only using three P.E.K.K.A.s um, instead of a lot that I used to. I used to use wizards with them as well, but I've stopped doing that because um, I gotta save up my elixir for the upgrades in the laboratory. But I'm kind of just rambling now, guys. But I wanted to um, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for being patient. I know I haven't posted in like a day, which is more than most people. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that y'all are excited to see where we go in this Max That series, guys. Um, this, my friends, is going to be a very long road. Um, and I am happy that y'all are going to be here with me the entire way. Um, you guys can be ready for a trophy base probably in a week or so. Um, I hope that y'all are looking forward to that. And that's going to be it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later.